This is CHS TV News. Good morning, Cathedral. I'm Vanessa with your morning announcements for Tuesday, November 3rd. Let's start off the show with a message from Mrs. Verasso. Good morning, Gales. So this is a message for all grade nine students and their teachers. Tomorrow, Wednesday, November 4th, is our Take Our Kids to Work Day. So every year for the past 25 years, students across Canada have been accompanying a family member or friend to their workplace to find out more about a career. This year, Take Our Kids to Work Day has gone virtual. So we're providing you with a couple of online resources that we can encourage you to access at home during your asynchronous learning time. The resources are located at the two websites on your screen, Edge Factor and the Learning Partnership, and they'll be available throughout the month of November. Students will be able to access over 100 different virtual workplace experiences and videos. Register on these websites to be sent links to other online activities tomorrow. Teachers can also access these resources if they want to share them with their students in class or on the LMS. If you have any questions, please contact your guidance counselor. Grade 12 students interested in applying to college next fall are encouraged to participate in the virtual college fair happening on November 4th and 5th. On November 4th, the fair will be open from 4 to 8 p.m. On November 5th, the fair will be open from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. You can even create a virtual avatar to explore colleges and participate in virtual discussions. All 24 Ontario colleges will participate, so it is a great opportunity to speak with faculty, staff, and student. Visit ontariocollegefair.ca, follow on Facebook forward slash college fair, and Twitter at ONT College Fair. Thanks for Mr. Felice. And now I'll pass it over to Mr. LaRue. Good morning, Cathedral. Uh, I haven't been on the morning announcements yet this year, so I just want to say welcome back, and I miss each and every one of you. I uh, got some good news. Uh, we are going to be running the Glee Club virtually this year. Yes, you heard it right. We're going to run the Glee Club. There was a lot of hoops that we had to jump through, so I wanted to thank Mr. Daly personally for his support on this because he had to get the AOK -okay, uh, from the board and we just, just move forward. Look, these are unprecedented times, and we don't know how to do certain things. I think a lot of your teachers have been very transparent that they don't know how to run their classes each you know, period and each day and it's, it's difficult. And a lot of coaches and a lot of you know, directors and people, they just didn't know what to do. So I was against this whole idea. I'm gonna be straight up, I did not wanna run Glee Club because for me Glee is about the community, it's about the family, it's the stuff that happens off the stage, not so much the ha that happens on the stage, it's after, behind, backstage, that's the most important thing. So it was the kids. All my past students, they're like, let's not give up on this, and, and those students who know who they are, they, they made this year happen so that we could run this club virtually. They came up with all these ideas. So there's like a Glee Club committee of past members and students who are senior students right now in the club that are gonna help the whole group run this year because we don't know how to run it. This group is much bigger than me and all those students want to showcase their talents, have a creative outlet, and more importantly, belong to something, even if it's virtually. So Mr. Trabuco is going to be posting it on the scrolling announcements. There it is right now on how to audition virtually. There is a form that was created by a student, Ryan Sykes, and you can submit your video there online and we're going to be running whatever we can this year and we're going to try our very best to make you cathedral true blue proud we just want to do what we can for our community for our student body for our teachers we want to run you know each step each year each show we're just going to try our very very best so first you just log into google and then you can show how to do your audition step two is you'll then be provided with some important information about glee and then some things on how to submit your for your audition and then you have to fill out all the questions that are in there and that apply to you because there's past students and current students and step four is you're going to upload your video um, and then we're just going to wait and see what type of talent that we're going to have and then we'll be um, waiting the following week so so the, the final group will be posted on November the 12th, and then you can see that on the social media. So um, once again, we're going to try our very best to run this entire year virtually. It's going to be completely COVID safe, and uh, we're going to be one of the only schools in the HWCDSB that will have a group just like this. So if you sing, 
you dance, you rap, you play a musical instrument, then we want you. We want you to be able to submit and show off your talent and belong to CHS Glee. Something this year is better than nothing. That's it from me. If you have any questions, you can check out our Facebook account, our Instagram account, um, or you can try and email me at larueJ at HWCDSB as well for any questions on how to audition. Your audition tape shouldn't be any more than about 30 seconds to a minute and just show off your talent, and that's all we really want to do, uh, make you proud. And the group... They didn't want to be the first group in 11 years that have not done a Christmas show to raise money for the McMaster Children's Hospital. So that's one thing that we're going to do 100% this year is we're going to do our Christmas show and all the money and the proceeds will be going to the McMaster Children's Hospital. And then we'll see and what we can do from there. I've talked too much. Maybe it's because I miss talking to you all. That's it for me. Back to the anchors. Have a wonderful day. Thanks, sir. The students that are signed up for the Sisters-in-Law Virtual Conference on November 11th of next week are asked to speak to Ms. Valerie Tortiz in room 300 immediately after class today. And to end off our show, I'll pass it over to Mr. Fenayanico. Thank you, and good morning. This is a short reminder to all grade 12 teachers. Grade 12s will be participating in a quick survey on November the 3rd and the 4th. That's today and tomorrow. This is a study that continues from last year's survey when you were in grade 11. This McMaster study looks at physical activity with students as they get older. It will take approximately 15 minutes, and you can do this on your phone, scanning the QR code uh, on the PowerPoint presentation, that link that was sent to each teacher. If you are having trouble accessing this code, please come down to attendance and I will help you. Each student will get a $10 Tim Hortons gift card that will be sent to your email uh, after you've done the survey. So it's important that you put in your correct email. And at this point, please watch this short video that explains this survey. Those are all of your announcements to Stay Cathedral. Have a great day, Gills, and thanks for watching.